Hi, it's Eric Paulson and welcome to our weekly video conversation. Last week I was at the Relay for Life in Eden Prairie, joining Minnetonka, Hopkins, Richfield and others in the community who got together to raise money for cancer. Uh, there were a lot of survivors of cancer who were there participating, good turnout. Always great to see the community active and involved for a great cause. Now we're going to get to our questions and we start out this week with an email that came in from Wyzetta from Amy. And she writes in, Representative Paulson, you were elected to write the laws, not to delegate that power to unelected, unaccountable bureaucrats so that you can avoid blame when things go wrong. The RAINS Act is not anti-regulation, it is simply pro-accountability. We deserve to have the country's major economic policies voted on by our elected representatives. Please support this important legislation. Thank you. Sincerely, Amy. Actually, Amy, those are great comments, and I was a co-author of the RAINS Act. And for those of you that aren't aware of what this legislation does, it essentially <clears throat> has Congress act like a board of directors. So whenever new regulations come out from different government agencies, they would have to, they would have to be approved by Congress. That's not the case right now. This is for new regulations that would have a significant economic impact. And this is real. Actually, uh, 10 new regulations come out each and every day that are impacting small business. So a lot of these small businesses are spending more time now on paperwork and less time running their business. The RAINS Act, which passed with the, with a good vote in the House just this week, will make sure that Congress has to act like a board of directors and sign off on these rules and regulations as well. It'll make sure the bureaucrats think twice before offering new potentially costly regulations on our economy and our business community. Next up is an email from Brian in Bloomington who writes in, Congressman, I'm writing to you concerning our federal income tax system. Tax reform ideas are always worthy of discussion and consideration. Indeed, the reform of anything as important as the U.S. system of taxation deserves long-term deliberation. Any tax reform proposal must be balanced and preserve the effective provisions that American families have relied on for a century to help build wealth. It's important that any proposal contributes to economic security and a strengthened middle class. Thank you. Brian. Actually, Brian, one of the things I hear about constantly from the folks in business and individuals is the need to fix a broken tax code. It's something I want to see happen to make the tax code fairer, flatter, and more competitive. One of the things we did this week was we had a hearing in the Joint Economic Committee that talked about the scoring of how you, how you actually score tax reform proposals and what the impact would be on our economy. Very interesting testimony where we learned that the Federal Reserve and essentially the private sector and everyone except for Congress uses what is called dynamic scoring, scoring what the effects of tax uh, what tax proposal changes would actually do and, and have what the impact would be on uh, fiscally. So we are moving forward, hopefully with new tax reform proposals that will be scored dynamically, showing what the positive effects are not only on the economy, but also how it scores bringing in more revenue. It's something that can actually help us build consensus on moving forward tax reform legislation, which ultimately helps helps our economy grow. And keep in mind, 9 out of 10 Americans, they don't do their, ta their taxes alone. They either hire someone to do their taxes or they buy the financial software to do their taxes. That's not a tax code that's designed to help hardworking taxpayers. It's a tax code that's designed to help tax accountants, lawyers, and tax planners. We need to change that. I want to thank all of you for sharing your thoughts, your questions, your ideas. Continue to reach out anytime on Twitter, Facebook, and now on Instagram. Have a great weekend.